Welcome back, all you boils and ghouls. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out the brand new NECA Toys, the Creep Show Television 2019 edition. The Creep, tales of suspense and horror, of course. And then this awful looking thing staring at you from the packaging. And my God, is this going to be fun. <laughs> Creep show is twisted and weird. I have not seen the new one yet. I don't subscribe to Shutter. I just haven't seen it. But when I saw that NECA was doing this, I absolutely had to have it. And I found him at Target. And you can too. Apparently he's been out for a little bit. But uh, yeah, my stores took forever. Gorgeous red box on this, by the way. Here's everyone involved with bringing this figure into reality. Thanks for that. <laughs> There's the barcode if you want to go ahead and find him. Again, if you're not familiar, this is based off the original Creep Show. It's like a sequel series, but for TV, it's on Shudder. And it will be getting season two. My God, look at this thing. Greg Nicotero does The Walking Dead and such. You know him from all the special effects. Yeah, you could totally tell this is like a zombie wizard creepy dude. So this is going to be... I guess I would say fun, but mostly terrifying. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a... Just, God, I don't know, creepy cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new NECA Toys Creep Show, the Creep action figure. <laughs> and here's the Creep all out of the packaging with all of his various accessories. And that head sculpt that NECA has created is just something unnerving and amazing all at once. Really nice accessories for this guy, he comes with makeshift teeny tiny little comic book for the creep show and soft goods and a fully articulated figure. So this thing is awesome. This little lantern, it has element. It looks like it's painted to have rust. The little lantern piece inside will sort of spin. It's not see-through, but it's just that really cool, creepy old timey kind of lantern. Same with the skull. Now the skull looks like it may be able to you know, have it as an extra head to that degree, but we can try it out. I don't really think it's for that. It's more of a skull handheld sort of deal. And he does come with an extra hand. One of it is being the lantern slash comic book holding hand, but you can see the detail is really nice on it. The comic book is a perfect little teeny tiny recreation of the creep show comic book. It's got all the back issues on the back, you can write in and mail away, I'm sure. And then inside, they got a, com a couple comic book panels to it. So that's all great. One thing I will say, he's a little bit hard to stand once in a while. So get yourself some neck stands. He does have holes on the bottom of his feet. But again, this is terrifying. This is probably one of the most terrifying, scary looking action figures I mean, I looked around to see if I could compare. This thing totally takes the cake. He's got the really cool tattered little you know nightgown hoodie kind of thing going on brown and disheveled and stains and little tie right here <laughs> it's like those are pristine but the rest of it is just awful and this is a fantastic head sculpt I mean look at that that is a that is a Greg Nicotero zombie face in action figure form it's even got real hair I mean even the the head, the, oh god, underneath this, by the way, is a full-on corpse. Now, I did take this off and then immediately put it back on. It's kind of a pain to get off, but you can see, fully articulated, fully painted. He is a corpse through and through underneath this soft goods. So if you wanted to, you could use him as a corpse or just keep him like this. But the head rotation allows you to do that disgusting head tilt that I had talked about in my DC Direct Batman Superheroes, you couldn't achieve that, but you can definitely do it with this guy. And the articulation, like I said, is astounding on him. He's got double jointed arms. He's very flexible <laughs> for a corpse. He moved, no rigor mortis. He moves around his arms, his wrists. He's got a kind of a crunch to him. He's got a waist as well. He'll rotate up top. Once you kind of pull his little garment up you can kick out although i don't know what kind of poses you want to get out of this but he's spin at the knee he's got single jointed knees 
and he's got ankle rotation up, down, left, right. And again, just like I said, get a deck of stand because sometimes he can fall forward, especially if he's holding the lantern. This has a wire in it around the top of his hood and, and you can pose that. Same for the little part in the back. He holds the lantern really nice. The fingers are very gummy, but they're very sturdy. So you don't feel like you're gonna ever break anything, but that's what you want for that. Look at, he holds the lantern perfectly up, down at his side whatever you want to do but imagine this thing lurching towards you holding the <laughs> lantern god he can also hold the comic book in this hand and while i say it works i would have preferred just one extra hand just to kind of a little bit tighter grip on it you can have him in this open hand as well just be careful it does kind of fall out i prefer the more lantern holding hand to hold it but you can pose him set it and it looks like he's reading out of the creep show comic book. Now let's try just for fun, just to see how this extra skull may work on him. It's gonna be entirely too small, I think. But yeah, it's it's just a goofy thing. In fact, I think it may be something possibly that came with a predator. I can't remember. But just keep the uh, just keep the creep head on there. I think that's best. And have him do his best impersonation of Hamlet. And then you could have him holding the skull, which again every accessory for this guy works and god it's just imagine this thing coming at you in the night <laughs> as far as scaling goes he's around that seven inch mark he's a little bit taller than dc direct these are all the zombies in my collection diamond select taller than marvel legends so again around that seven inch if you have those types of figures yeah you could definitely fit him in your collection he displays well he poses well he looks all kinds of creepy. Flip the comic book around like you can't really like, you know, it. you could do some fun, disgusting poses. And, ah, you know what I mean? Like it's it's the face. They nailed the dead eyes, the glossy look, mouth, the nose. It's everything. You can see the feet and the rot underneath. And once, you, you know, you lift up or you pull his sleeves back or you pull his head down the hair, you could comb his hair if you got a little creep show comb. <laughs> Something that, I mean, an extra hand would have been nice. Overall, I'm very happy with this figure. He's going right onto my zombie shelf, but I am curious to know what you guys think. Do you have the creep? Do you need to get him now? And have you seen Creep Show? Do you recommend it? I will be looking at the show now that I have this figure. That's always the way it works out. If I haven't seen something and I'm really interested in the toys, I'll buy it. Now I really want to see the show, but... Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Creep Show. What's your favorite episode of the first season? And are you looking forward to season two? And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, have fun with your action figures. After all, they are just toys, even though they are decrepit, rotting, <laughs> zombified wizard whatever the heck this guy is toys and when you do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios